Hello and welcome to Binzu. Newfoundland and Labrador is a province of Canada that is steeped in history, with a rich past dating back to well before Confederation. In this video, we will look at some of the past wars of Newfoundland and Labrador, the significant events and how they shaped the history of the region. From the Anglo-French Wars to World War II, the province has been through many historical battles that have had a profound impact on the area. So, grab a cup of tea, sit back and let us take you on a historical tour of Newfoundland and Labrador. Part 1, Anglo-French Wars. The first war that affected Newfoundland and Labrador was the Anglo-French Wars. These wars were a series of conflicts between England and France that lasted from 1689 to 1815. The wars mainly involved naval battles, with the two countries fighting for dominance in the Atlantic Ocean. The wars had a significant impact on Newfoundland and Labrador, as the area was a significant fishing region for both countries. England and France regularly raided each other's fishing grounds and trading posts along the coastline. These raids led to the destruction of many small settlements along the coast and a disruption of Newfoundland's economy. During these wars, Newfoundland and Labrador were viewed as a strategic location for naval operations. As a result, Britain and France fought over the control of the area. The French established a stronghold at Placentia, while the British built fortifications at St. John's and Harbour Grace. The Anglo-French Wars were also responsible for a significant event in Newfoundland's history, the Battle of Signal Hill. In 1762, during the Seven Years' War, the French attacked St. John's, but the British forces managed to defend the city. The Battle of Signal Hill was a turning point in the war as it signaled the end of French rule in Newfoundland. Part 2, American Revolution. The American Revolution, which took place between 1775 and 1783, had a significant impact on Newfoundland and Labrador. The revolution was fought between the 13 colonies of America and the British Empire. During the war, the American Navy began to prey on British ships in the Atlantic Ocean. As a result, the British established a naval blockade to prevent supplies from reaching the American forces. The blockade led to a shortage of supplies in the colonies, which affected the fishing industry in Newfoundland. In 1779, the Americans mounted an attack on St. John's. The attack was successful, and the Americans took control of the city. The British, however, recaptured the city in 1782. The American Revolution also led to a significant shift in the fishing industry in Newfoundland. With the outbreak of the war, the British Empire lost its largest market for codfish, the American colonies. The loss of the market forced Newfoundland to look for new markets, which led to the expansion of the fishing industry to Europe and the West Indies. Part 3, World War I. Newfoundland's involvement in World War I was a significant event in the province's history. At the start of the war, Britain declared war on Germany. As a result, the dominions of the British Empire, including Newfoundland, were automatically at war. During the war, Newfoundland's contribution was significant. The province mobilized its troops and sent them to Europe to fight alongside the British Army. The Newfoundland Regiment was a battle group that fought in the Gallipoli Campaign and on the Western Front. During the course of the war, the regiment suffered heavy losses, with more than 1,300 soldiers killed in action. The war also had a significant impact on the economy of Newfoundland. The province's economy was mainly dependent on the fishing industry. With the outbreak of war, the demand for fish from Europe decreased, which led to a decline in the fishing industry. The decline in the fishing industry led to high unemployment rates in the province. Part 4, World War II. Newfoundland's involvement in World War II was a significant event in the province's history. At the start of the war, Newfoundland was still a separate dominion of the British Empire. As a result, the province was automatically at war with Germany. During the war, Newfoundland played a vital role in the North Atlantic convoys. The province served as a refueling and resupply base for ships crossing the Atlantic. The port of St. John's was one of the busiest ports in the North Atlantic, with ships coming and going throughout the war. Newfoundland also played a role in the Battle of the Atlantic, which was a campaign fought between the Allied and Axis powers for control of the shipping lanes in the Atlantic Ocean. The Battle of the Atlantic was a critical battle in World War II, as it involved the transportation of troops, supplies, and equipment from North America to Europe. During World War II, the economy of Newfoundland was transformed. The demands of the war led to an increase in the demand for goods and services, with a surge in employment as well. The province's industry shifted from fishing to war production, with the production of ammunition, aircraft, and ships. Conclusion In conclusion, Newfoundland and Labrador have an exciting and significant history when it comes to the wars and battles they fought. 
From the Anglo-French Wars where the region was seen as a strategic location for naval operations to the American Revolution that redirected the province's economy, Newfoundland and Labrador's wars played an important role in shaping the history of the region. Newfoundland's contribution to both World War I and II was even more significant. The province mobilized its troops and fought alongside the British Army in Europe, with the Newfoundland Regiment suffering heavy casualties. Newfoundland also played a critical role in the Battle of the Atlantic, and the province's involvement in the war led to a transformation of the economy. We hope you enjoyed learning about the past wars of Newfoundland and Labrador. We will continue to bring you more exciting historical facts in the future, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.